This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. What's going on everyone? John Renders from Techno Buffalo here. We got a ton of foam that just came out, a lot of tech still yet to come out, and a lot of tech rumored to hit in the very near future. So I thought it was the perfect time for Ask the Buffalo. I got a ton of questions people shot to me at Twitter, so let's jump right in. And our first question comes from Luke Lynch who asks, at John Four Lakers, do you think the HTC M10 will be the lifesaver this company needs? When I read that, I just thought about like, the lifesaver candy. Uh, I don't think one phone is going to save HTC. What HTC needs is a, something that's going to start changing the perception of the company. And hopefully the HTC M10 is going to be that. I also thought it was going to be the M9, but it looks like they've learned from their mistake. Next question comes from Harkeet at John Four Lakers. Why did you pick the Buffalo name you named the channel? Uh, when I started the YouTube channel, it was at John Four Lakers, which was just my old AIM screen name from high school, which goes to show I had no idea this is gonna turn into anything. I was just using that channel to comment on other videos, which is why my Twitter handle is still at John Four Lakers. Um, I, I don't know why the Buffalo came from, in all honesty, I just want an available URL when I picked the name of the company, Techno Buffalo, and that worked. I want the Techno in the title. I thought Buffalo is easy to spell and kind of easy to brand if I wanted to branch off to another topic. Next one comes from my friend at SuperSaf, who asks, at John Four Lakers, S7 or S7 Edge, which would be your choice and why? I'm an Edge man. I like the way, I just want to like the way it looks. And for this generation, a little bigger screen, a little bigger battery are the two biggest reasons that I would go uh, the S7 Edge. Next one comes from D. Kent, who asks, at John for Lakers, what do you expect to see in the way of new MacBooks and Macs this year from Apple? And hopefully something. It seems like Apple hasn't touched their laptops in years. So certainly not expect new MacBook Pros, obviously a Skylake processor, uh, but it's time for a design change. The same design has been around since about 2012. There's been crazy rumors floating around that Apple's gonna do a Surface competitor with a detachable keyboard and a touchscreen. I wouldn't put much merit in that. I would say a little bit thinner, USB-C and probably removable some of the older legacy ports and that'll probably be all we're gonna get. Hopefully we'll see it though sometime in March. Next question comes from Adam Slack, the guitarist for the Struts, who you should, should definitely check out. Uh, he asks, what are your thoughts on the S7 and what Apple can do next realistically? Uh, good question. Uh, S7, this be a pretty solid phone. We got a review coming up very soon on it, so stay tuned, Adam, for all that stuff. We'll link it here. Uh, when it's live, what Apple can do next, I think in terms of new product lines, something different, it seems like they are stagnating with their product lines. Uh, they're innovating, but not doing anything revolutionary like they used to do. I don't know what the next product is. Maybe it's a dedicated TV set, maybe it's a TV service. I'm hoping though the next iPhone 7 can be something big, a new killer feature we've never seen before, but at this point I'm not really holding my breath anymore. New camera angle. Our next question comes from our Dosh Vercard who asks, at John for Lakers, what is the one thing you hope Apple implements with the iPad Air 3? That I hope they call it the iPad Air 3, not, not an iPad Pro. That's my, my one hope. Better screen too, would be nice. Next question comes from Asshole who asks, at John for Lakers, what are your thoughts on the rumor to the removal of the app drawer and Android N? No, I hope that is just a dirty, awful, gossipy tabloid rumor. Don't do it. Google, please don't do it. Please? Next question comes from my friend Mario Charles who asks at John Four Lakers, do you think OEM should release phones every two years in order to limit incremental upgrades and focus more on software? No. I think if that's what's gonna drive profits for them to release phones every year that are barely different, then they have every right to do it. What you don't have to do though is buy a new phone every year. I know it's hard from a consumer perspective to be like, hey, did you get my brand new shiny phone? It's only gonna be new for like another 10 months. Then you just feel like a, like a jerk store. But companies are gonna do what they're gonna do. They're for-profit businesses and that tends to draw profits for them. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I love answering questions and getting a chance to talk to you guys. I also like doing this a lot, evidently. Uh, until next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next video. And the last question comes from me about 10 years ago. John, what can I do to further my career? And I would say to younger John with less gray hair, no children, the John, that could go see movies at 10.30 at night. The John, that could sleep till two in the afternoon. To you, I would say, for your education. You could check out some of the courses at Full Sail University, for example. Maybe you wanna try app development. I know you're not the best coder. They do offer an undergraduate degree you should probably check out. Or maybe, John, you wanna make a social network. Or maybe you wanna learn how to code your own website in the future that you might make called Techno Buffalo. You should probably learn about it and how to code desktop apps from full sales undergraduate degrees, because they, they have that too. And maybe 
You just want to get out of your horrible marketing job that you're in. Hoping you can get in a small car accident every day. Full Sail can help you too. Younger John, go check out fullsail.edu slash technobuffalo. I don't know what technobuffalo means, but it's going to be something. Something one day that maybe you'll help create.